Haley, thank you for being with us. Um, the first thing I have to ask you is if this morning, after Jed's moment on the live show Tuesday night, are you feeling a little vindicated? I feel like a sense of relief. You know, kind of the pressure's off. Everything is out there. Everything has been said. You know, I knew from the very beginning, I was completely being honest. And so to kind of have that out there on both sides, so now it's very, it gives me a great sense of relief. For sure. For sure. Last time we talked, you told me you were not watching the show. Did you start watching it since then, and did you watch the finales? I just did not bring my so. I mean, I my I would have my mom and sister support. I had the high points, and they last night, you know, I was dinner with his dad, and came, they gave me kind of a synopsis and sort of what he had said, but I just. I didn't really feel the need to, to see it from us. Well, Haley, I want to read you a couple of quotes from Jed um, because it was quite shocking to watch some of the things that he was saying to Hannah. Hannah confronted him about you guys' relationship, and Jed said, quote, I didn't feel like it was an exclusive thing. I was dating around. I was never like, this is my girlfriend. Yes, I was hooking up with other girls. It's news to me. I mean, you know, I have found out during the filming of this show and, you know, post their engagement, you know, that is when I started finding out that other women were involved even while we were in a relationship. And, you know, call me naive, but, you know, from my perspective, I'm believing in someone and trusting in someone that's saying that they're falling in love with me and they're saying I love yous and perhaps I'm off base here but you know I love you to me means I love you not I'm seeing a bunch of other people so you know well he said that he had been drinking when he told you that he loved you every time an excellent point, Haley. Uh, I, I wondered, I, I would imagine he said it to you more than once and on more than one different day? Um, he said it more than once on March 12th, the day that he left for filming. So that's just... And was that the know, first time he said, I love you? Absolutely not. So, so he definitely wasn't, it would seem, drunk every single time he said, I love you during a relationship. Definitely not. Um, he also said that the only reason he went on trips with you were because he, quote, got a cabin for free. And I was kind of shocked he brought your family into it. He said, well, I only went on a trip with her because her parents gave me a vacation for my birthday. Man, what monsters they must be to have, you know, have, have just met him, you know, three weeks prior to his birthday, you know, and we're talking about, and beyond that, I footed some of that cost and they just helped to help out because we went on my birthday. So, I mean, it, it's a little hurtful to me that, you know, you've, you've just met my family and, and now you're going to, and, and, you know, call me a monster for throwing a surprise party for the person that is telling you that he's falling in love with me and, you know, mm -hmm. doing the things that you do in a relationship, you know, I, you know, maybe, maybe I'm off base here or miss the memo on what a relationship is. But to me, I, you know, and beyond that, if we want to go ahead and talk about a free cabin, we split the cost for the cabin. So, I so it wasn't be, even free. Was, <laughs> so it was a lie that it was free. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Haley, did you guys call each other boyfriend and girlfriend? And did your friends know you two as a couple? Yes. So, I mean, we're in Nashville where, you know, and the crazy thing is, even since all this came out, I've had so many people that are like, you know, we knew about you. We hung out with you at writer's rounds, you know. We thought that it was you two against the world. So it's it's kind of like, it's hard for, I've thought multiple times, like, I knew that it was going to come out. If it, The further it got along, I'm like, Everybody knows about this, so I'm confused. Yeah, it wasn't some kind of secret. It's interesting that you just said it was you two against the world because in one of the finale episodes, Jed said something similar like that to Hannah. He said, only you and I know what we have. And uh, he was kind of going against the fact that her parents didn't really seem to like him. Did Jed encourage that thinking with you that it was you two uh, against everybody else and you were in it together, just the two of you? 
Well, I mean, you know, the whole premise of him even going on the show kind of set a precedent from the beginning of our relationship that it was kind of, we kind of had to have this like secretive-ish kind of relationship. You know, we can't post on social media because this is an opportunity. So therefore, you know, I, I bought into that as well. I believed in this person and I was down to be me and you against the world. So, it's, you know, I kind of understand probably her mindset as well and where she's yeah. thinking so oh, Haley, man, I love this person Haley, I'm, I'm it, sounds, it sounds like from what you're saying Jed was telling Hannah multiple lies even when she confronted him with the knowledge that you two had been in a relationship at least you know lies and just well, the, the cabin of everything. The was, cabin, saying he was drunk when he said, I love you, uh, saying that you two were not exclusive. Just, uh, honestly, I just, and once again, I just, like, hit the high points of all these notes and, like, heard from my mom and sister who met him and loved him and, you know, believed in him as well and were by my side. So it's like, yeah, right. that, really? <laughs> So the last time you and I talked, you said that you still believed Jed was a good person. Do you think that Jed is a good guy? Is this the Jed that you knew, uh, seeing the apparent lies he continued to tell Hannah? I mean, this is where I've kind of like, there's been this disconnect for me because I fell in love with this person who told me that they loved me. And then now I'm kind of on the back side of this thinking, how did I, how did I miss this? Like who, who is this person that I'm now seeing on my TV screen? You know, it's, there's just like a weird disconnect. I can't even, By it's not that way, I think he's a bad person. And I truly believe that good people do bad things, but I'm just like missing kind of yeah. the end of, like, I'm kind of missing how it could, how we could be here, honestly. It's interesting, Haley, because Hannah said that same thing. She said, this person, meaning Jed here in front of her, is not the person I got engaged to. She said they, they seem like two different people. Um, Haley, I actually interviewed Hannah just an hour ago, and I asked her if she had a message for you, and she did, and I just want to read it to you. She said, I've been in a similar situation in the past before. And from this, I hope she's learned a lot, just like I have, and that she knows her worth and what she deserves. And I hope that she can find someone that truly makes her happy one day. That's incredible because I wish the same for her. I just, I can't, you know, the biggest regret that I've had in all of this is that this was her experience. This was her love story. And, you know, my being sort of the other woman in this, you know, scenario is, is what, caused her heartbreak at the end of this thing that was supposed to be so incredible for her. So I just, I wish all the happiness, all the best things to come out of this for her. And I have most definitely learned from every moment of this. And, and I know she has too. So uh, I, that's incredible. Thank you for sharing that. Do you think Jed has really learned? He apologized to Hannah. He said he owned things. Do you think he's really learned from this and really will change? I hope so. I mean, I, like I said, I think that good people do bad things. And I think, you know, sometimes maybe it takes somebody just shaking you to say, this isn't okay. So I hope that this is maybe that that moment. I know? mean, there there were moments on social media last night. Some people were saying his, his roommates were Instagramming pictures of T-shirts they'd made that said, like, things like, Jed is free now. Uh, knowing some of the same people in Nashville, do you think that his friends are supporting him to become better? Do you think he really wants to be better just from what you've heard from your circles? You know, I really hope so. And that is kind of where it's like I, this rock and a hard place for me. Um, you know, I, I know these guys, I know his roommates have, have sat on their couch and watched football with them many times, you know, so it's, it's hard for me to think. I have to kind of believe that maybe they just don't understand the magnitude of what has happened yeah. and that they're just thinking about their buddy that, you know, they want him to come out and hang out. And, and I understand that and they want to have his back. And, you know, I, I appreciate that. I don't want him to be 
right. not my friends, you know, I, I don't want them to feel alone, but at the same time, like, I think maybe they're missing the point of, you know, an engagement was ended and a heart was broken. Well, and two, three hearts, you know, it, it's just, I think maybe they're just like missing the real life point of what has happened here. Well, Hannah told Jed that she had heard he had women over to his house even after they were engaged, that he was throwing women in his pool, that kind of thing. Had you heard about things like that and about him apparently telling people he'd won the show? I mean, th there were definitely little rumors like going around town, but nothing that I had like concrete proof or, or had seen. I didn't see any like messages or pictures or anything. So and, and a lot, even then I was like, I want to believe that if they got engaged that it's you know, I said it in a lot of interviews, like, I want to believe that it's real and that it's right. So, you know, I, and, and I tried for the most part to just be in a state of like, okay, I have to move on from this and not worry about what he's now doing in Nashville. So. Well, you told me that you had never heard from Jed again since sending him off to the show uh, with the thought that he was going to come back to you. You even gave him your guitar case. Have you heard from him since? And have you gotten the guitar case back? No, no, but you know, I can really stand the face off front zipper. I don't, I mean, so, drop it on my porch. <laughs> so he's still never given you a call. Uh, what would you want to hear from him? Would you want him to call and give you an apology? At this point, I, I mean, I would like to know, I guess, that there's some kind of remorse. I, I don't know that I will ever get it. And at this point, I think so much damage has been done, and, and I just, it's not even, at this point, it's not even necessary. I'm, I've moved on from him, and you know, last night was kind of the, the last moment of all the craziness, so it's, you know, I can just kind of go on with yeah. my life now. So. Um, a lot of people were talking during Jed's hometown about his family's reaction to him and Hannah because they seemed so in shock. They kept saying this was so crazy and people wondered, well, in their minds, are they thinking, wait, we thought you had a girlfriend. Uh, do you think Hannah's, or I'm, do, were you under the impression that Jed's parents knew uh, about you two staying together while he went on the show? Did, did you see any of that footage and what'd you think of their reactions? I mean, it was tough because this is one of those things, you know, I spent five days with his family and the, so, and spent time and talked to them while he was gone. So it's, these are people that, you know, I have kind of formed a relationship with and care about. So it's, you know, that has also been like a hard thing in, in all of this because it's, you know, I haven't spoken to them and I care about them and he's their son and they have to love him. but. But for sure, you know, I saw clips of that episode and I'm wondering kind of the same thing. I'm like, you know, yeah, I, we had breakfast together. What, what, did, are, they, really? did they know that Jed intended to go on the show and come back and continue dating you? Yes. I mean, basically the night before he left, it was, you know, we're praying for you, Haley. And, you know, we know this isn't easy for you. So have you talked to them lately? No, and and I would never, you know, expect to and never want to be in the middle of it. In fact, you know, I'd say one of the hardest things is knowing that they're most definitely reading the comments and, and tweets and things that and all the negative things that are being said about him. And I can't imagine being in their shoes if that was my, you know, sibling or my son. I can't imagine, you know, what they're feeling. So yeah. I don't know. That's tough. Do you think that Jed? truly loved Hannah and truly wanted to marry her? I hope so. Do you think you he's know, ready for marriage? Well, I think, you know, here's the part where I believe this was a little bit selfish. If you love someone, the goal is, the whole idea of loving someone is putting them before yourself. And this was her experience. She had every opportunity to be with one of, you know, these other great guys or, or at least to have made the decision for herself if she was okay with the situation that she was in. And she didn't even get that option, which I think, you know, that's not really fair when you love yeah. someone to not be honest. Uh, there have seemingly been a lot of lies from Jed Haley. Which lie bothers you the most? I would say, you know, the the downplaying of, and really, like I said, I, I didn't watch, but just hearing about him saying that we just 
ran by his family's house and it was just a free cabin and he only went because you know it's just downplaying all of these things that meant a lot to me and that I just believe when somebody says I love you call me crazy for believing in that you know and so it's just to kind of like feel like okay so now you're saying none of that meant anything to you and you're just when do you think I mean he was telling you I love you when do you think his feelings did change in this process I have wondered every single day you know I like, when did you forget about me? When did you, was it day one and you got there and you were just like, mm, actually didn't care that much? Or was it, you know, when they start traveling and, or, or two dates in and he realizes she's, you know, I, I, I don't know, but I have wondered every day, yeah. you know. Well, the original plan was for him to go on for his career and he sang multiple times. He played the piano, he played the guitar. Haley, he sang during the proposal. Did Jed get the career exposure he was hoping for? He got exposure, that is certain. What do you think of Jed's songwriting and singing skills? There's been a lot of criticism. You know, as an artist, you are setting yourself up at all points in time for criticism. I am not even, you know, I wasn't even in the shoes that he's in and I get criticism, so. You know, as as a fellow artist, to read those things, I can't imagine how unbelievably hurtful that is to hear. And it's kind of this is the moment when you have to say, I either push through this and I believe in in my art enough to keep doing it, or you say, Do I want it enough to overcome this criticism and and the things that people are saying about me? You know. Were you surprised though that he sang during the proposal? Yeah, that's I, I yeah. Um, I, I was surprised. I said he's walking out of the, out of the car with a guitar. Okay. <sighs> hey, um, at, at least he left the case, you know, at home. Okay. So, we got to get you that case back, Haley. You still want it so back? So reminding. <laughs> yeah, put it on my porch. <laughs> Um, uh, all right, I, I want to wrap with you here, Haley, but um, I know, as you said, you know, you are this artist, uh, a singer songwriter yourself, and I would imagine you've been given a fair amount of material over the past couple months. Uh, tell us what's happening next for your music. So, uh, Sweet Leah is my duo. We're very excited. We're releasing a single on, not a jingle, but a single on Friday, actually. Um, it's called Red Naked. You can pre-order it right now. It has nothing to do with any of this drama. It's just a fun summer song, and we're just we're so excited to get get moving with that and kind of leave this in the past. So you you need your summer to turn fun. Uh, it's time now. <laughs> um, will there be any songs about what you've been through? Guess you better follow along and find out. <laughs> uh, and, and you just almost said jingle. Was that a reference to Jed's dog food jingle? I just slip a tongue. I, I. You didn't help him work on that, did you? Or did you? No. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'll just ask you, you know, uh, one more time. What was it like for you to kind of wake up this morning and know that everybody had seen some of the realities of Jed's lies that you had experienced for themselves? Honestly, it was just a relief to kind of, you know, I've, I kind of dreaded this night because I just kind of knew in my gut that it probably wasn't going to be just an ownership, you know, approach. And But to kind of at least every truth that I told that was honest from the beginning, at least every single thing that I said was exposed, you know, on both sides. And now everything's out there. And this was the end of the line for this chapter. So I'm very thankful to be closing it. Any message you'd have to Jed now? Man, please just, we have all learned from this. We have all made mistakes. I can't say that I didn't in this and you know, I just, I really hope that all of us are able to learn from this and and take this and, and be better in the next relationship that we're in. All right, Haley, thank you so much. We really appreciate you. I know you've been through a lot, and thank you for uh, staying strong through all of it. So thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Lauren.